We're now going to look at workspaces in AutoCAD 2010. Now as I said on the What's New videos, the workspaces can be customized in the initial setup screens. So let's have a look at workspaces on the workspace switching button down on the status bar at the bottom of the screen. As you can see there it says 2D drafting and annotation and as you move over the button the workspace switching tooltip appears. If I click on the button there I get a shortcut menu showing me what workspaces I have available. As you can see 2D drafting and annotation there is set indicated by the tick there and what that's showing you is that is your current workspace. When you first open up AutoCAD 2010 it will also be your default workspace. You'll notice that I have 3D modeling as another workspace. You'll notice I have AutoCAD Classic as another workspace. I've also migrated my 2D drafting and annotation, 3D modeling and AutoCAD Classic from 2009 just in case there are settings there that I had customized or perhaps set up on my own rather than actually having just the default settings for those workspaces in AutoCAD 2009. The workspace that you set up in the initial setup screens is there and that might be an architectural workspace or perhaps an electrical engineering workspace. So as you can see there are plenty of workspaces to work with. You can also change your settings in your current workspace and save current as. That allows you to create your own workspace. You can also change your workspace settings. You can also customize your workspace in the customize user interface screens. We'll cover the customize user interface later on in this quick start course. Let's have a look now at the workspaces at the top of the list. As you can see there, 2D drafting and annotation, well we're in that already. So you can see the ribbon at the top of the screen there, you've got your draw panel, your modify panel and so on. Let's have a look now at 3D modeling. Let's say I want to work in some 3D modeling environments. What I would do is click on 3D modeling like so. The workspace changes and changes to different settings that are stored within AutoCAD 2010. So as you can see there, my tool palettes have appeared. I can close those if I wish, like so. But most importantly, look at the ribbon. The ribbon has changed to the 3D modeling workspace. So on the Home tab now, it looks very different. I have modeling, I have meshing, I have solid editing, draw, modify, and so on. If I look at the mesh modeling tab, again, specific to the 3D modeling workspace, you can see I have very different icons very different panels on the ribbon. Let's go back down now to workspace switching here. So we click on the 3D modeling now and what we'll do, we'll click on AutoCAD Classic. Again the workspace changes you'll notice. The tool palettes appear again in this particular workspace and as you can see now we're back to our classic AutoCAD workspace. For those of you that have used AutoCAD up to AutoCAD 2008 you will most definitely recognize this workspace. Some people still like to work in this workspace. Again, it comes down to personal choice. What you've got here though, instead of the ribbon interface, is you've got toolbars. So I'll just close the tool palettes window there for a second. And as you can see, over here on the left, we have our draw toolbar. Over here on the right, we have our modify toolbar and our draw order toolbar. You'll notice here, we have a toolbar here as well that's floating, this is a floating toolbar, and this is your smooth meshing toolbar. I'm going to close that by clicking on the cross, and that disappears, leaving me with a clean AutoCAD Classic workspace to work in. I can go back to my 2D drafting and annotation workspace though, again down to workspace switching like so, 2D drafting and annotation, and that will bring me back to the ribbon interface which is common to AutoCAD 2009 and AutoCAD 2010.